With the Tormek patented drill bit sharpening attachment DBS22, you can now sharpen your drill bits with the highest precision. You create a four-faceted point which provides the optimal cutting performance. The chisel edges come to a point instead of being almost flat as on a conventional cone point drill. A four-faceted point will not walk and the thrust force required is considerably reduced. Heat development decreases significantly and the drill bit stays sharp much longer. A well-sharpened point cuts a perfectly round hole with high precision. Start by setting the distance of the universal support from the stone using the hole in the setting template. Mount the base plate. Thanks to the Tormek patented design, it will lock securely. Start by setting the clearance angle. On the setting template, you can now see recommended angles for different materials and dimensions of drill bits. A common clearance angle is 11 degrees. You can choose any point angle from 150 down to 90 degrees. 118 degrees is a common angle which works well for most types of materials. Mount the drill in the holder. Set the protrusion with the measuring stop on the guide. Now carefully align the cutting edges so that they are parallel with the horizontal lines. A magnifier is supplied for the smaller sized drill bits. Align the edges so that they are parallel to the pin in the magnifier. Start by sharpening the primary facets. Position the drill holder so that the lug rests on the primary stop. P. Feed until the drill bit touches the stone. Then set the cutting depth. One turn with the setting screw is equal to half a millimeter in cutting depth. Lock with the locking nut. The edge is continuously cooled so there is no risk that the steel overheats and loses its hardness or gets micro cracks. Pretty soon you will hear when the grinding sound subsides and the edge is ground. Then turn the jig around and sharpen the other side in the same way. Now it is time to grind the secondary facets and give the drill a point. Move the drill holder to the next stop marked S to sharpen the secondary facets. Tilt the base until the drill bit touches the grindstone and lock. Start by setting the cutting depth by one and a half turns. The grinding is done in the same way. Continue until the drill holder has moved downward and the lug touches the stop. Check the grinding. In this case, the secondary facets need to be sharpened more in order to meet in the center and create a point. Feed another quarter of a turn. Now we have a perfect four-faceted point. You can sharpen drill bits up to 22 millimeters. You can proceed and hone away any burr on the profiled leather honing wheels. Now the drill bit has a perfectly formed and effective tip.